So yeah, <laughs> it's uh, getting at the observational science. So, um, so it, yeah, since I was on that, let me just uh, uh, go through this question. So um, <laughs> observing how popular they are, the popularity, it shouldn't matter. I and mean, it does end up mattering from time to time because you know popularity of a particular theory determines whether it gets funded or not. But it, it, you know, it, it, acknowledging that does that does happen, it's not ideally what should happen. Um, and uh, the reason astronomy is on observational science is yeah, it's uh, not possible to run direct experiments even on our own sun. I think uh, uh, there was a recent Japanese mission that brought back a sample of asteroid. Uh, that's like a new thing. Until then, we haven't brought any samples back from asteroids. The only off-world sample that we've collected so far was moon rocks. So, um, so there's a you know in some near to distant future, astronomy might become less of an observational science. But, but you know, for the present time, it's mostly observational uh, because it's for the matter of feasibility of experiments, um, observational science, because unique, um, it's not unique. That it, how science works is using observation and experiment or observation of experiments to form hypotheses and theories. And um, yeah, so. It, it's not unique um, in doing that because in science you must be so uh, I think if you read the textbook carefully textbook makes a good argument that this is not correct opinion to have um, so you do have to be more careful because the thing about experiment and the reason we physicists like experiment is when you are able to control the variables you can establish causation you can um, see more direct relationship between different variables. When you're observing, um, you might have heard the phrase, uh, correlation is not causation. And that's a danger that um, uh, conclusions based on observation can fall into. So you have to be careful about that. And um, scientists who work in those fields are careful about that. So, uh, so but what it's saying is not right. It's, it is the real science. Um, acknowledging that observation limits some of the things that you can you might be able to do with a controlled experiment. Um, and yeah, one of the ways that control is done is by observing many samples of the kinds of objects. So, um, so that, um, so, that um, so that you are not misled by one unique thing. For example, um, I think Earth is rather unique among different planets, at least in the solar system, in having a moon that's a fairly large. Uh, no other planet within our solar system has a moon that's, uh, or I guess, excluding Pluto, which is not a major planet, <laughs> having a moon that's as uh, large as uh, large compared to its primary. And uh, but like so, that's just a sample size of one. <laughs> and um, this is one of the reasons that when you get to I think a module three that uh, we have some ideas about how our moon was formed, but the debate is still ongoing because we have sample size of one. So with the sample size of one, it's a hard, harder to definitively say this must be what happened. So that, that should be it, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, when you get it corrected, this text pops up to express that thing. Um, 